Lord Mayor, ladies and gentlemen, I am always glad of an opportunity to visit Wales, and it is with special pleasure that I come to Cardiff today to receive the freedom of your famous city. I am already linked by name with Merioneth, and now, as a freeman of Cardiff in addition, I shall feel that I have a very personal connection with this principality. We in this country glory in the mixture of our race. Romans, Saxons, Danes and Normans have made their several contributions to the Britain of today. You have spoken, my Lord Mayor, of my interest in the work of the juvenile courts. The growth of crime among young people and the ignorance of which they are often the victims are among the most serious ills with which we are oppressed today. It has become increasingly unfashionable to believe in fixed standards of morality, even if those standards have, to, have stood the test of nearly 2,000 years. We cannot then blame children whose upbringing in some cases hardly gives them a chance to know the differences between right and wrong. It is so often conditions at home which are responsible. I myself have been extremely lucky in this respect and I can speak with feeling of the advantages which a happy family life bring to a child. It is terrible to think of the havoc which the absence of those advantages can produce in the most sensitive years of our lives. Quarrelling parents, harsh treatment, foolish spoiling, or just the lack of that best of disciplines founded on respect for what is right, as well as an affection. All these have their place in accounting for the tragic increase of the population in remand homes, approved schools, and Borstal institutions during recent years. Therefore, I think it of supreme importance to the community that we should do all we can to save those who, not because they are bad at heart, but through broken homes, bad example, or lack of healthy occupation, are drifting into habits from which it may soon be too late ever to reclaim them. I thank the members of the City Council and the people of Cardiff for the great welcome they have given me. I am only sorry my husband, whose naval duties have prevented him from coming with me, is not here to share my happiness in being with you today. It is with the utmost pleasure, my Lord Mayor, that I accept the freedom of Cardiff, which the City Council has so kindly conferred upon me.